Hello everyone, welcome back to Anna's Mobile Home Life and if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I will be making crock pot beef tips. I haven't done it in the crock pot before. Uh, I have some cubed beef here. I'm just going to cut some of them a little bit smaller. I've said before I like smaller bite-sized pieces, so whatever ones are big here, I am going to cut up a little bit smaller, add them to the crock pot. Today in New Jersey, it's 85 degrees, very humid. A lot of sun so we're finally getting some nice sunny days but sometimes it's too hot so you can't win so I'm gonna finish cutting these up yeah there's a lot of really big chunks here But picky Anna, I have to have the little pieces. That's okay, you do what you like, right? Almost done. I have the crock pot set on high. I'm running a little late getting this started. So, hopefully, I usually this beef cooks pretty quickly. So hopefully it gets done at a good time. All right. I'm going to rinse the knife off. Clean it good. All right. I'm going to add some seasonings right to the beef. As usual, garlic powder, onion powder. You guys know I usually use a lot of the same. I'm going to use some parsley. I'm going to add some pepper. Okay, next. I have another cutting board here. I have a bell pepper, green pepper. I'm going to get that cut and cleaned up. Give them a quick rinse. These are good. This one. Get rid of these. Alright, I'm just going to cut them up. Start adding them. I'm 
I hope you're having a good day today. Hope you have some nice weather. It's pretty hot today. It's feeling hot in the house. All right. Just add all that. Let me know in the comments if you ever made crock pot beef tips. All right. I also have a yellow onion here. I'm going to see how half is, if it's enough. going to peel it over here real quick. Cut that end off. And we're going to slice that up. and onions. I also have some celery I want to start working on using up. Celery sticks. Rinse some off. so good. So I'm just going to slice this, chop this up. Going in. weather for the weekend. We'll see how that turns out. All right, I'm going to turn you around and show you what we got in the crock pot now. All right, that's what it looks like. We got the cubed beef in there, onions, green bell pepper, celery, so now we'll continue. I have a bag of broccoli florets. Nice and fresh broccoli. I know there's going to be huge ones in there. Of course. Anna's cutting them in half. It 
It's what I do. Ooh, that's a big one. See if we got any more. Yep, a couple more. And I'm dropping them all over my stove. That's an Anna thing. going to add a roasted beef gravy mix the pioneer brand sprinkle it in there I'm also going to add two cups of water Crock pot is on high already. So here's one. And two. Some W sauce. Let's see if I can bring you closer. All right. I'm going to give it a good stir. Hopefully I don't splatter some out of here as I'm stirring. another let's see I know I have another one I'm gonna add another packet of the gravy there's not much in there so so that's two packs of the gravy mix another two cups of water Because the gravy packet calls for two cups, each packet. Alright, now we can stir it. That should be better. Make sure... I get all that gravy mix mixed in, all the powder from it. It'll all blend together. All right. That's what we got 
going right now. It is on high. I'm going to put the lid on. And we're going to let that cook. And I will come back in between a half hour and an hour and we'll see what it looks like. See you soon. All right, my friends, it's been exactly an hour since I got everything in the crock pot. Let's see what it looks like. The beef is still reddish, pink. Let me get a fork and see how the broccoli feels. Yep, the broccoli needs time to also. There we go. That's what we got after an hour. So, we're going to cover it back up. And I will set a timer for another hour. And I'll come back and we'll see then. See you soon. Okay, my friends. It looks like it's ready. It's actually been over two hours, closer to three hours. I didn't bring you back at the two hour mark. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Looks delicious. So I'm gonna plate it up. I did make some rice in my rice cooker. So I'm going to get some of that on my plate. All right, the rice turned out really good, perfect. Let me unplug that. Now we're going to add this to the top. Some of that gravy. Look at that, guys. It looks delicious. I'm going to let it cool for a minute, and then we will give it a try. Okay, my friends. I have it ready to go. It's still a little hot, but I'm going to try and give it a try. Got some broccoli, a piece of the beef. Some onion. Let me get some rice. There we go. I'm going to try it now. It is so good. I am going to add a little bit of salt. And pepper. Oh. It is delicious, guys. The rice is perfect. The broccoli is perfectly cooked. This got done in three hours. Not too bad. Mm.
Guys, it is so delicious. If you haven't tried this in the crock pot, um, if I had uh, fresh mushrooms, I would slice them up and add them to it. Oh, that would make it even better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good evening.